Um, uh, so inflation slightly uh, lower than what we saw in the previous month, but and it's still sitting in, in uh, single-digit territory. A very good scenario that is playing out for Ghana relative to what we see in the overall uh, peer group within the West African region, and even if you look in East Africa as an example. Uh, ab uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, the, the, the number was broadly as expected. Um, food prices came down slightly more than we thought they might. Um, suggesting that there, you know, there has been good weather, good rains. Um, this is obviously good for the cocoa crop and, and exports. Um, however, it does uh, uh, the, the the underlying uh, sort of you know sort of um, in inflation numbers are, are still running around 11.2, uh, much higher than, than targeted, and um, and we still believe that there is the, the, the risks. To um, interest rate policy are, are, are towards the upside, and, and indeed the risks to headline inflation are, are, are towards some modest uh, sort of uh, appreciation so, in coming months. Okay, so Stephen, if you could just clarify, you said the underlying inflation environment sitting at 11%. What exactly are you alluding to? Are you saying so, that? So this is this is a non-food measure that the, the I see. The, 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 so it's the excluding food and fuel. At. Is it excluding food and fuel? It's not not a, not a fuel. No, it's just just excluding food. It's eleven point yeah. two. So it actually makes sense that we've we've got an interest rate environment sitting at around thirteen and a half percent. And when you actually look at this the CPI number that we're looking at sitting at eight point six, there's a massive difference between what we see on the interest rate front relative to the CPI number. There is uh, the, the the problem is that they. Uh, the, 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 the Bank of Ghana sees potential threat to the currency from an overheating of the economy. So the interest rate rise that we saw in February was very much a response to concerns that the currency may get disorderly and thus feed through into inflation mm -hmm. and, and threaten their inflation target. So the, 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 the mechanism, the transmission mechanism between interest rates and inflation is through the currency and they understand that very well. Um, also, I mean, when you start including food, you actually realize the real inflation scenario that the consumer is experiencing in Ghana. And then one would then argue, then why int increase interest rates or keep interest rates at these levels uh, when you see a, a struggling consumer when they are paying a lot more for food? I, I, I think, I think the, the, the key issue is, uh, is, you know, the major transmission mechanism is through the currency. So the reason to raise rates is to secure confidence in the currency and to prevent those second round effects from a currency devaluation feeding into inflation. Now they spent the best part of you know a billion dollars over the last couple of months in, in January and February making sure that the currency didn't run away from them and, uh, and then they had to raise rates in order to to try to secure that again. And in the same breath, we know that the IMF has actually come out and uh, said that they are worried about the rapid rundown in FX reserves, uh, and this also being a very key uh, defense against uh, a much weaker uh, SETI. Well, it, it, it's, it's the other way around, if, 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 if I may. I mean, it's the, the rundown in the reserves was in order to try and preserve the SETI. It's not the FX reserves per se that, that preserve the SETI, it's how you use those FX reserves. Uh, to, to, to manage confidence within the market. Um, and and it's, it's that rapid you know, decline in reserves that has worried the, the, the yeah. IMF. Um, they, you know, in, in, in agreement with us, believe that the economy is very hot. It's been growing at you know, probably 13 to 15 percent this year, probably 8 to 9 percent uh, in 2012, sorry, last year, and you know, probably 8 to 10 percent this year. And, and that, that continues to put a, a huge yeah. amount of, uh, of import demand into the economy. There's also uh, the, the issue of fiscal spending, which was the other issue that the IMF has, has raised. Going into an election year, there's concern that there will be more expansion through the fiscal avenue. And I think the monetary policy was, was also intended to address that. Well, Stephen, I mean, at the end of the day, we've got to ensure that the central bank will be able to maintain this kind of intervention by drawing down on its reserves to intervene in a weaker local currency. And as you mentioned, taking various steps to ensure that they don't need to intervene as much. Uh, do you, how much of a risk is this going forward? Um, it's, uh, it's, it's less of a risk than I think it was earlier this year. I think there was a concern that uh, there's a number of, uh, of foreign investors that own bonds in, uh, in Ghana. It's been a very attractive uh, uh, investment play for the last two or three years. Um, those guys were, were underwater in terms of their return during 2011. 
and I think we started to see some of them unwinding those positions in January, and that, that was part of the, um, the, 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 the outflows that we saw. Um, we had an auction in, in uh, late February where we saw those guys coming back into the market. I think they feel that you know, the, the higher interest rates on offer uh, plus the, the, the slightly weaker sort of currency um, entry point makes, makes those, the, those yields slightly more attractive. So I'm less concerned that we're going to see a one-way bet in terms of, uh, of, of outflow from that particular avenue, which I think has been quite a swing variable. Um, I, th yeah. I think also the, 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 the willingness of the, of the government to uh, uh, reduce subsidy in an election year, which is, you know, it means that, that you know, people are, uh, the investors are prepared to give the benefit of doubt to the government that they will be conservative uh, yeah. fiscally. And, and, and also, I think that the, the interest rate hike made a difference in terms of managing sentiment. Fantastic, Stephen. We have to leave it there. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Great to have you on the program.